and another like box collar type thing is coming, so I will explain that to you in this video. Welcome to the Pull Up Vlog. My name is Sean Francis, and we talk everything stick flinging of advanced monkeys. I'm an advanced monkey. Commercial time, commercial time. Everybody loves commercial time. This vlog right yeah. here is supported by Patreon members. I love you guys. The good news is we reached our goal and a podcast will be starting in January. All thanks to Patreon members. You guys did that. You guys are growing this thing. That's pretty neat. While you're at it, join Team Hoot. Just go to team hootcom and sign up. It's free. We can be on the same team. Also, I'm going to Reno. You guys should go to Reno. Then we can hang out or at least high five so I don't have to keep doing this in front of all my friends. I have no friends. Sign up link for Reno is down in the description. What am I pointing at? Leave it in the comments below. This will get spicy. Last but not least, I had the amazing opportunity to meet this really great family at the Missouri camp this summer and, and Amara was chosen to be a part of an international team in Australia. They're trying to raise money to make this happen because Australia isn't exactly close to the United States. Geography. So if you would like to take a bunch of gas and hold it into your hands and fling it onto this girl's pole vault flame, there's also a link to the thing I'm pointing to down below. It's not my balls. All right, let's talk about the new box collar box situation that seems to be happening. <laughs> So I made a whole video about the pros and cons in the box collar. You guys should watch that first before we dive into this and you kind of get a little history of what's going on. Now when I made that first video, Jan Johnson, the creator of the box collar said, the box collar is a flawed design and I came up with a better system. Now the new system happens to be a soft box. Now recently it was brought to my attention that the soft box was trying to get passed in the same way the original box collar was going to be passed. They're going to make it a safety standard through ASTM. Sell it to big organizations, that's a safety device. And now that they have backing of ASTM, it's more likely that the NCA will pass it along with the National High School, F National Federation of High School, National, F you know what I'm talking about. And then finally roll in the dough while hopefully keeping everybody else safer in the sport. Now rumor has it that this box collar could have cost anywhere between $1,000 and $2,000. That's a lot of money. This also doesn't include the installation costs and whether you also have to have the box collar. Now, here's what's been a little upsetting for me. This might be upsetting to you too, but like the box collar, there was little to any information that this was happening. It felt like they started to sneak it in through the back door and didn't let anyone know. Interesting, the box collar was only passed by one vote. That means if more people knew about it and they didn't like it, maybe that wouldn't have even happened. Or maybe it would've, I don't know. People are being mean to Jan Johnson. You got two sides. You got some people who are like, Jan Johnson, go to hell. And then you have the other side. Jan Johnson is a patron saint or something like that. Now my stance on Jan Johnson is I'm neutral. Like everybody who's ever met him said he's just a great human being, very good for the sport. And then people who haven't met him just don't like what he does. So I'm, I, I don't really know. I'd like, honestly, maybe he'd be a great podcast guest. Would you guys be interested in that? I'll leave a poll like right here. If you guys would like me to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Jan Johnson, let me know. Maybe we'd clear up some sides on both sides and we can come to a common ground and good things could happen. Personally, I think he really does care about the pole vault community and just wants everyone to be safer. So that, that's kind of where I stand now. So Jan, if you're watching this or if you see this in the future, let's chat. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Another thing that I didn't really agree on is that it cost $75 to be a part of the ASTM to take the vote. That's a lot of money for one vote. And to my knowledge, no objective scientific testing has been done on either the box collar or this new soft box. Objective being not tested by Jan Johnson or his group. Because that would be dumb. Ooh, look what just showed up, my results of my experiment. This is good guys, it's really good. Sean, you are the most beautiful, intelligent, funny, creative, and you're the best pole vaulter in the room you're in right now. Thank you, Broken Science. I love you. So USPBA got a hold of the matter and we helped table the discussion for a later meeting. So we could get some more information to figure out what's really going on and if it's good for the sport or if it's hurting the sport. We just, we just wanna know the answers. If it's good for the sport and it's gonna help save people's lives, I say pass it. If it doesn't and it has the same kind of like 50-50 as the box collar, if it is 50-50, I'd rather keep $500 in my pocket and keep it 50-50. Other things people are talking about is this thing gets passed, high school track budgets are already super small, and that soft box is super expensive. 
Will the schools end up dropping the event or shell out the cash to keep the event going? Will the softbox really be safer and how will we know that? We need some scientific data before it's mandated in. And how will we know who will do the testing and who's gonna pay for it? So what do you guys think? What are some pros and cons of the situation? What I really want you to be aware of is that it's just happening and that you have a choice to vote. And if you choose not to vote, that's okay. Your choice is to let whatever happen happen. That's it. I just want you to have an, I just want you to have an educated decision and not be tricked. Either way, I'd love to chat with Jan. So that poll, go vote. Let me know if you'd be interested. If not, I won't even contact him. I'd just like to meet the guy. He's kind of a legend in the sport, has a bad rap right now. I want to know the truth. Yeah. Guys, sorry I waited to the end of November to get these videos out, but I had a massively big video gig I was doing where I was traveling all over the country. With that said, there will be another video out this week on Friday. It'll be, I have a really cool idea. I can't tell yet. You're just gonna have to check it out on Friday. Another huge thank you to Patreon members, guys. Patreon, oh, you guys, I just I just love you so much. Again, there's Patreon only content, so if you're not getting enough Team Hoop Pole Vault stuff, head over to Patreon. There will be more content over there. Also, if you donate $25 or more, you get your name in the vlog forever. These are them right now. You guys are awesome. With that being said, guys, remember there are many, many, many ways to pole vault. Try what works best for you. Whatever that is, do more of that. Life is meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. I can't wait to let you in on this massive secret. I just can't do it yet. You're just gonna have to wait. All right, I love you guys.